Hi, my name is Dr. Joyce Kong. I'm a cosmetic dentist in Orange County, California, and an assistant clinical professor of dentistry. One of my missions is to help analyze oral hygiene trends so that the general public can get verified information that's also evidence-based directly from a dentist. There are a lot of products on the market that are trying to combat cavities, but they're not really addressing the real issue, which is acid. You know, sugar gets a bad rap, but acid is what really directly causes cavities. So in order to prevent cavities from forming, we need to either neutralize acid or control the amount of acid in the mouth. So today I have a fun experiment to show you guys the different pH levels of the popular mouth rinses on the market. For those of you who don't know, the pH scale is actually really simple. It's from 0 to 14. The point at which we start to develop cavities is a pH of 5.5. So just as a reference, water is a pH of 7. And this battery over here is a pH of about 1. So we want to head more over to the higher numbers. Over here, I have a few of the most popular mouth rinses on the market. One of these is actually an energy drink, just so that you can get a comparison of where it lays on the scale. So I cut out these pH papers, and what I'm gonna do is dip each one into the solution. The more acidic something is, the more yellow it's gonna be. The more basic it is, the more blue it's gonna turn. So let's start dipping. So over here we have water, and let's just dip that. So we wouldn't expect water to be too acidic. If you look at it, it's a little bit more greenish, bluish. You can see that it's around seven on the scale. We have two really popular mouth rinses that are a pH scale of around two to three, which is only slightly better than battery acid. We have this one over here, which is a sugar-free energy drink, which is also a pH of two to three. And then we have this one over here that's a mouth rinse that's slightly better, but still under the threshold of 5.5, which is the pH where cavities start to form. So I'm gonna test one last mouth rinse. It's over here, it's called Elementa Nano Silver. And let's just see what the pH of Elementa Nano Silver is. That is bright blue. So on the scale, it looks like it's about seven to eight. If you compare this mouth rinse to this mouth rinse, you can see that this one is much more basic. Why that's important is because this mouth rinse is actually gonna neutralize the acid that you already have in your mouth. That will leave a patient in a better place than using a mouth rinse that will cause them to be more acidic than when they started. Why I also love this mouth rinse and why I recommend it to my patients is because it's super pure. It's only made out of five ingredients, nanosilver, xylitol, calcium, which is what your teeth are made out of, water, and natural flavors. It's non-toxic and it's also plant-based. If there's nothing else you take away from this, avoid acidic products. So if you guys want to try a product that actually works, visit elementasilver.com and follow me, Joyce the Dentist, for evidence-based information and tips and tricks on oral hygiene.